Episode 1, Sue's Studio. Hi, I'm Jordan from Tech Gang on YouTube. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to create your own Linux-based operating system using Suze Studio. You can sign up to this, but um, you won't instantly get access. They'll send you an email telling you when you get access. Obviously, there's over 25,000 people on it already. So I've already got an account in here, so if you just go up to the top and click create account and sign in, you can sign in with your Google account, your open ID and several of us. So I'll sign in here. Probably got my password wrong. Oh, and it works. I've created two OSs, one Chris called Chris Perello and one called Jordan OS. If you go up to here, once you've logged in and click create new appliance. And there's several options. You can build servers, desktop, based on the gnome. I'm just going to do just enough OS as that is the default. It's going to be a 32-bit architecture which means it will work on 32-bit operating systems. It's not as effective as it would be if it were on 34, 64. Sorry. Let's just call this Tech Gang. Okay, I'm going to create the appliance. This is all web based, there's nothing to download apart from at the end once you've got your operating system. Okay, so once you've done that you click on the software tab and there's several software things to be installed. Now, if you want Office, search for Open, like free Microsoft Word equivalent, Open Office. And it should search and it will appear. And what you need is OpenOffice.org. You want the writer, the calculator, which is the writer is like Microsoft Word, the calc is like Excel, I believe, Impress is like PowerPoint. Draw, I'm not sure about that. Yep, I believe that's all of them added to add them automatic. Add a few of these. So, this is all the open office stuff. Right, so therefore, okay, that's added that. If we go back to all the groups, let's add some games. If you click on the games icon, loading. And let's add Gnome Games, Frozen Bubble, and Pac Man. Okay, then go back to all groups. You can add whatever ones you want. Um, graphics. Now, there's really good graphics on here. Graphics program. GIMP is really good. So if we can get GIMP, just search GIMP in there. And we should have graphic or GIMP appearing. There you go. If we add GIMP, GIMP's really good. Okay, then if we go back to all groups again, and let's add some networking tools, like, let's see what we've got here. Let's add Mozilla Firefox, Flash Player, Network Manager, Samba. Samba basically lets you um, let it work on a Windows group, so you can share your files and stuff. Um, desktop, I let's see what we can have in here. Add office imaging games remote desktop so you can just add whatever you want. Um, let's add VoIP GNOME. GNOME is really good, that's what based on your Ubuntu. So we'll go back to all groups one more time, and then I believe that's almost everything. So, if what we do, then we go to the configuration tab. Now, you can adjust everything on here, including the language. You can ask on first boot which makes it so when you first install it or go into install it or run it it'll ask about all this stuff so if I ask it on first boot so wherever the people are in the world it will work for them want it to just DHCP so if you plug it into the network enable firewall which does help and you can set a password for these so that's um, you have, I think you have to be blank you can, set, you can change the background and the logos so we've just changed that to the little tux icon and I like the blue one so yeah, you can upload your own but I'll just leave it as that so here's the previews on startup it's going to run a graphical login or it's not going to work at all so it's got to be graphical um, you can add unlicensed user agreements so let's type in here you can type thanks for using tech gang okay we're going to server, we're not having any servers on here, so it doesn't really matter. 
uh, will automatically log in a user so when they started it's automatically logged in this can be changed in the setup of the operating system um, if you're creating a virtual appliance for VMware and Zen um, you can adjust the size what it needs and stuff disk image that's, that's alright and there's commands here that you can run on the startup whenever the appliance boots that should be alright so if we go into here the overlay files you can add files you can add files in here what you want to put on so if I just add on one of these uh, add something you can add in anything really so if, like an info help or something once you've done that you can go into build and you can create it for a USB stick slash hardware disk image a hard disk image live CD so you can put it in without even installing or changing any files and VMware or VirtualBox and then Zen we're gonna do a live DVD slash CD the USB stick hard disk image is the one that if you're gonna install it so if you just build this live CD and change this to version 1.0.0 let's save it and uh, it tells you here at the side okay yast to first boot we need that I'll copy all of it, that might be even help, more helpful. This is a package that we need for it to work. Yast2. Tells you the side on the messages bit. Okay, Yast2. Should be here somewhere. Yast2. We'll put sudo on it as well. Samba client. Printer. Firewall. Uh, some of this stuff really helps. Restore inet d. Uh, I don't really need squared. You can put loads of us. There we go. First boot. If we had that, okay. Then now seems to be everything seems to be fine there. And if we go back into the build, and we build that. There you go. It's now going to start building. Starting the build. Um, also, you can build the appliance locally if you have Kiwi. You can download the Kiwi. It's a very small file. It's a lot smaller than um, the actual operating system itself. So once you download this, this is the live CD version. You can build several versions at a time. So if you just go onto there and click build, you can build several versions at a time. And there you go. It's starting. And once you've done that, you can see what it's going to look like or and um, download it share it obviously they might remove some of the op once you've built them it's stored on their server but they may be able to remove them anytime they want because obviously it's taking up space uh, thank you for watching this video I hope to see some um, operating systems being built um, you can comment and please subscribe to us uh, we're gonna do lots more tutorials like this that are gonna help you thank you very much